Holy Spirit is something else. And he's speaking and he's moving and he's doing a number of things here. I praise the Lord for <clears throat> this day and for each of you. Um, typically, I'm one of those preachers that will have uh, all my stuff together. And But Holy Spirit has shifted me in such a way this morning um, that I just want to encourage you just with this, just for, just for about two and a half minutes, plus five. <laughs> Amen. You know, <laughs> Bishop said whatever. All right. Uh, it is amazing to me how Holy Spirit meets us every time where we are. Did you not notice how when we came in this morning, we began to pray, and there's the um, Skillman and uh, um, Dr. Skillman and Prophet H.A. led us in, in prayer, and how Holy Spirit just began to meet us. I woke up early this morning, around 3, and Holy Spirit said to me, he said, tell the people deal with their demons. He said, tell them to deal with their own demons. And as I sat and as Bishop began to exhort us and pray for us the more, and she began to talk to us about um, deliverance. And she said, um, I'm delivered. Some of y'all don't remember that song. That was a a good church Baptist song. And I'm delivered. Praise the Lord. And, and I thought about it as she was saying it. Many times we will say we're delivered. And she said this. And we're not. And I said to Holy Spirit. As I sat there. And I said Holy Spirit. Why would you bring that to us now? And he said that I want my people to be encouraged. That even as they go out to minister to others, witnessing to others, that they're not forgotten. So that God would prepare us as we prepare others. Because there are many in the church that are, are, are going around and they're doing the work of the church, but they're hurt too. Nobody going to talk to me. There are many that are... are, are um, going around witnessing, doing great and wonderful, marvelous things for the Lord. But in many respects, it is perverted. And Holy Spirit would bring us here today to remind us not to get caught up in the hype. Not to get caught up in the religion. Not to get caught up in the things that we've learned. So much so that even what we've seen on Thursday and Friday and even this morning has shifted us even in our teachings that even in our denominationalism where in the things that the good old mothers and fathers taught us that some of it is now not relevant we still love them but some of it will not get us to the place where we experience a moving cloud That it won't get us to a place where real deliverance will take place. Because, you know, many of us grew up where you, what happens in your house, stay in your house. Nobody, nobody talking to me. That you don't tell everybody your business. Some stuff you have to keep to yourself. But in order to be fully delivered, you and I must examine our own selves. Come on, touch yourself. Say, I'm going to check me today. I'm going to check me. And I said, Holy Spirit, um, so what are you saying to me? I have something else in my briefcase. He says, no, I want you to tell them this. He says, I want you to tell them, one, I haven't forgotten them. That he would have brought us from all over the place, all over the United States and abroad. To bring us to this place this week, not only to send us out to witness to others, but that we may get what we need also. And that we may be reminded that we too need to be delivered. 
And so I, I, I went to, um, he took me, as I sat there, as Bishop was speaking, and I, I, he took me to um, he, he Hebrews chapter 6. Just a few verses here, and I'm, and I'm done for real. Um, that first verse I'm going to, going to pick up, he says, Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to maturity, not laying again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death and a faith in God, instruction about cleansing rites, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment and God permitting, we will do so. We, we, we've learned a lot. We, we, some of the stuff we do, we do because some of us have been in church so long, we just know how. But this is the season in which Holy Spirit is speaking to you and I, saying let's move beyond that. Let's move beyond what we know. Let's move beyond uh, um, what's politically correct in church. Let's move beyond. Come on, talk here to me. Let's move beyond it. And let us go forth in the things that God has told us to do. Let us really be the witness that God is looking for in the earth. Because people are looking for authenticity. People are looking for authenticity. And, and, and so Holy Spirit said this to me. And, and, and if you read further in that text, in that 10th verse, and, and that 10th verse is important because the reason that he, that this would go on like this this weekend was, is because God wants us to know that he's not unjust. That 10th verse says that for God is not unjust, that he would forget our labor of love. In other words, that he is not going to allow us to go out and do all these things and other people get healed and delivered and made free and we see signs and wonders and miracles and no miracle happened for you. Can I say to you today that this is the day of your miracle? Can I say to you today that not only is this the day of your deliverance, but this is the day of your miracle, your sign, your wonder? Hallelujah. How many know that when we leave here, that we're leaving not like we came. Come on here. That, that Holy Spirit has orchestrated something afresh that causes us to say, Lord, here I am one more time. I want to be used in your service, but God, before you use me, fix me. Come on, somebody. Before you use me, before I, before I witness to anybody else, make sure, Holy Spirit, make sure, let me make sure that I'm right. Let me make sure that I'm delivered. That before I talk about the homosexual and before I talk about the drug addict, before I talk about the one that looks like they're um, lesser than, let me check myself. Somebody holler, check at me. That we check ourselves to make sure that we are right. So Holy Spirit has not forgotten us that God is so just that he would bring us together and have the apostles say to us, get delivered. That we would get delivered. That we would not remain the same. You know, um, 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 Dr. Adewuja, um on last night, began this teaching on demons. And it concerns me that there's so many believers dealing with demonic activity. And you can't cast out a demon if you got a demon yourself. Come on, come on, come on. And Bishop is right. We don't talk about demons anymore. We don't talk about casting out devils. We, 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 we want to look like we got it all together. But we are walking around with demons ourselves. And my assignment this morning is just to say to us, be free. Um, the, the, the Bible says to us in, in Galatians, he said in chapter 5, Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again by the yoke of bondage. Somebody get free today. 
I believe this morning that as we came to the altar and many came and, 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 and heard the word of deliverance, I believe that deliverance was wrought in this place. But deliverance only will last if you're willing to say, I'm free. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not going back to that man. I'm not going back to that woman. I'm not going back to that uh, um, addiction. I'm not going back to that house. Come on, talk to me. I'm staying out of his bed. I'm moving my stuff out of their house. Now I'm saying nothing because I'm talking about church people, preachers and deacons and elders. Come on, missionaries and the like. I'm talking to us that we get ourselves together. That we not be entangled anymore in those things that don't profit holiness. That's a foreign word as well. Because we've made holiness look like or, or, or pretend it to be a look. And holiness is, is, is a lifestyle. Come on. Come on. Holiness is, is in the way we walk. And holiness is in the way we talk. Holiness is what, in what we do. God make us holy. That I would not forsake what Holy Spirit is doing in this hour. How many know that he's working on us? Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm really serious this morning. Because he, he propelled us, even as we talk about Holy Spirit being the advantage. How are we using him? Holy, uh, um, the bishop said something to us yesterday. The question was raised. She raised the question about... What do you do or what do you use when your Bible don't work? And it shook us in our very core. Because, of course, the Bible is holy. Of course, the Bible is what we will use all the time. Of course, why would we never use the Bible? But how many know that some people are looking at your life. And for some of us, we're the only Bible that some people will ever see. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. For some of us, uh, uh, come on, we can, we can walk with the big Bible. Come on. Hallelujah. But when your Bible is in the car and, and you're on the street and somebody needs a word from the Lord or, or just needs to be encouraged, who will be the one? When, 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 when it comes to the place, that Holy Spirit wants you to minister to the person in the cubicle next to you. But because you don't speak to them, come on, talk here to me, with your sanctified self, that they don't, you miss the opportunity, hallelujah, to be the real witness for the Lord, but you sanctify. Or the people, as, 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 as Evangelist Tish talked about yesterday, the people at the family reunion who we don't engage because they drink or they smoke, or, but they can cook. But you'll eat their food, but you won't speak. Come on, talk. There must be a difference is where I'm going. There must be a difference in us. I wonder, do you remember when God freed you? That's a real question. Do you remember when God delivered you? Do you remember when he set you free? Come on, talk here to me. Come on, it used to be a time in church when you begin to remember where he bought you from, what he bought you out of, how he changed your life. Nobody tells those testimonies anymore because many in the church are still stuck. But I, I just wish I had about 25 people say, I'm free today because a, a Holy Spirit has given me the right to be free. As we live this life, let us not forget that we're not forgotten. That we're not the ones that are sitting on the backside waiting for God uh, um, to, to come see about us. He's already here. He's here in the midst of us, even right now. Come on, stand with me. I just want to just encourage us the more to know that we're the ones, even this morning, that Holy Spirit wants to impart. Bishop, you, 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 you really, Apostle, you just really shook me when we really begin to think about our deliverance. Back in the old church, we don't sing songs like this anymore, but even me, Lord, even me, even me, Lord, even me. Any 
anybody let some drops now fall oh, on me hallelujah even me lord even me anybody like that even me lord come on ask him he but me i'm a candidate today let some drops now fall hallelujah oh on me lord i hear of showers a blessing anybody thou art falling pure and free thirsting flow thy heart's refreshing let some drops now fall on me. Come on and lift your hands and sing it with me. Oh, even me, Lord. Hallelujah. Even me. He hasn't forgotten us. Even me, Lord. Even me. Come on, I want to be better. Let some drops now fall on, on me. Bishop invited us to repentance. Hanani Diosha. Some of us came and some of us didn't. And I don't want you to come now. I want you to stay where you are. But right where you are, I want you to repent. And that wasn't just for a few of us. That was for all of us. Because we all have some things that we need to fix. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But let some drops now fall. My God, I thank you. Oh, on me. I'm repenting for what I didn't do. Come on. Repenting for what I said. Repenting from where I went. Come on, whatever it is. Even me, Lord. Even me. Hananadiosha. Even me, Lord. Even me. Let some drops come on here. Let some drops now fall on, on me. Come on, lift your hands. I'm going to my seat. Father, we thank you. And here at this camp meeting 2021, we heard the apostles call. We heard the call to deliverance. And God, we thank you that you have not forgotten us. That you're just God. That you would invite us to participate even in this thing called deliverance. And God, we repent this morning as a body for the things that we didn't do, for the things that we've said, for the things that are still lying in our lives that still remain prevalent, even for those things that are dormant. Father, we repent. Holy Spirit, deal with us. Breathe afresh on us now. Forgive us for whatever the transgression. And God, even now, we say we're sorry. And we repent. 
And we thank you for the opportunity to get it right. Because we really want to be able to say that we're delivered. Delivered for real. Hallelujah. Delivered all the way. And we thank you that your grace is yet sufficient. And God, you are still on our side. Bless us and keep us now. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on. Even me, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Even me. Even me, Lord. Even me. Come on, tell him. Let some drops now fall on, on me.